Hey guys, this is Henry from OBD again. Today we're going to be giving you an overview of the inspector in Studio One. So let's say that you have a Studio One song already created. You are in your main timeline view. You have your tracks, your waveforms, or your MIDI events in our case, like on this second track. And you want to use the, or you want to understand how to use the inspector, okay? So the inspector is not one of those tabs or options that by default, they're typically hidden, okay? If you want to show the inspector, you can go on the top left um, above your first track and there's a little icon that has a letter I, a lowercase I, that's the inspector. If you click on it, this left tab, this, this um, inspector tab will show. Now, what is the inspector? Well, the inspector shows you information, very important information, and lets you apply certain processes and functions to your tracks uh, from the main timeline window without needing to go to, let's say, your mix tab, your console view, or anything like that. So, for example, if you have your first track or any track selected, let's say in our case, I'm selecting my loop one, it's called loop one, uh, and it's an audio track. If I have that selected and my inspector is on, so it's showing, it'll give me a lot of information. For example, um, it'll tell me the track number, number one, I can see here, number one and number one. It'll tell me the name of the track so that I know that the inspector is showing that track. It'll tell me that it's an audio track because I can see the little waveform icon that tells me it's an audio track. It'll give me a lot of options. For example, tempo, it'll tell me, or it'll, it'll ask me, or it'll let me select if I want this track to follow or don't follow or time stretch according to the tempo. It'll let me select the time stretching um, algorithm. It'll also t let me select which group is it part of. In the case of this tutorial, I have a music group and this first track, this loop one track is part of that group. However, I could select, I could click on none and just take it out of the group. It also lets me select which layer I'm working at. I'm working on the first layer. I also have a second layer, but I could also add, duplicate or rename or even remove layers. It'll give me options such as layer follow events, play overlaps. It'll let me add a certain um, millisecond delay to the track. It'll let me turn on or off follow chords algorithm I want to select or which follow chord modes. It'll let me select a tuning mode if I want to do it. And it'll also let me select the automation envelope from here. We've explained before uh, how to show automation, but also from the inspector view, I can see if I click on the drop down list which envelopes I have available. Obviously, I have my volume and pan available, but I can always add if I want to. It'll also give me some information and options um, that I can get from my mix view, right? Uh, but if I don't want to go to mix view, I can do it from here. For example, I have my fader there, so I can set the fader level. I can set my pan position, mute solo, record enable. I can even add inserts from here. I could add inserts. I could modify inserts, turn them on, off, bypass them, and the same thing for sends. So that's very cool. It'll also tell me where it starts and where it ends and information like that. So as you can see, the inspector gives you a lot of information and also options that you can apply that you could technically apply from other places in Studio One, other windows, but it's really useful to have them right here, right in front of you. So you don't have to navigate through all of these menus. You can do a lot of things from the inspector. If you select another track type, let's say in our case, our second track, it's, an, it's a virtual instrument. If I click on it, then I'll see some other options that are only related to virtual instruments. Like for example, the velocity, I can modify the velocity by a percentage and I'll see like note effects and things like that. Things that are only related to virtual instruments. And if I click or select an audio track, I'll see options and things that are related to audio tracks. So once again, you have a lot of information from your inspector as well as options and operations that you could do from the inspector that you can actually, once again, you could do from another menu somewhere else in Studio One. But as I said, it's very useful to have them right here, right in front of you. So your workflow is actually faster. 
So that's the inspector in Studio One. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.